Right, I've just received a parcel, which I've been looking forward to. Um, it's a set of clips, just electrical connectors, so with all the hardware that goes with them. So the plan I had a while ago, or the idea I had, was um, it gives the, let me out of the way, here's the dash, it's got the gauges on, and it's got an overhang underneath. When I put it in place, connecting all of the wires up, as you see, to all the back to all the gauges and the indicator lights I've got in there, is going to be a nightmare. Um, reaching around underneath, trying to plug them into the right spot, put little um, bolts on. I can't come from the front and put the gauges back in because otherwise I won't be able to get the retaining bolts that hold the gauges in place and get them in the right spot and level. So what I was thinking was, um, I'll take you to the car. So you'll see. Right, okay, so now you can see my concerns. Once the dash is in this position, it comes down to about here and turns in, getting all of these cables, which go to the back of all the gauges, and some of the indicator light cables, these are the switches, which go in the back of here, which is the front bit. Um, getting them all hooked up to the right gauges, the back is gonna be a nightmare, as I mentioned earlier. So my idea, I think, is I'm going to cut these cables somewhere, somewhere in the middle, and fit those connectors onto them. Obviously, the corresponding connector to the corresponding cable, so that when I clip those three easy um, connectors back together, which is 15 connections, uh, sorry, 14 connections per block, I think it is. Maybe it's 15. Um, that will cover all the cables for the gauges. So enable me to be able to disconnect the dash, which I think has got about. 36 cables um, to all of these gauges on the indicator lights and just a simple case of three plug and plays and I can remove the dashboard or more to the point I can put it in and not have to worry about damaging things by reaching around blindly up underneath it so I'm gonna have a go at that now uh, right so I've just been thinking about whereabouts I'm going to cut the cables to put these connectors in uh, it's kind of nerve-wracking because if I get it wrong it's a big um, that's a big hassle. So I think I'm just going to offer the dashboard back up into place and then see how much of a loop I've got on the cables again and then work out where it's easiest to cut them so I can get to both sides um, simply uh, and neatly. And then uh, I'll take it back out and I'll cut them there. I'll start working one cable at a time. Obviously one end in here, one end in the other side. And I'll work my way through all of them neatly so that there's no confusion. Uh, they are all obviously colour coordinated and I've got the... the um, well, the wiring diagram, not the wiring diagram, but it's kind of the uh, codes of all the colours and where they all go to that came with the wiring loom that I had made. So I uh, shouldn't be able to mess it up too much. Anyway, I'll get on with that. Right, we're sitting through the floor at the moment. I'm glad I took the floor off and put it on the axle stands. <coughs> so it's made, um, it's made a bit of a difference for me. My access is better. So anyway, the dashboard's in now. Well, I've just mocked up back in roughly in, in position. Uh, and this is the bunch of cables that go to the back of all the gauges here. So as you can see, I've got quite a lot of spare. I think if I turn you slightly that way, right, you'll see this is the point where I'm thinking I do the connection because it's the lowest point once they're all on there. To be able to, and then I can actually get the clips clipped together on um, the electrical connectors and they'll be tucked up underneath because that central panel um, comes over this area here. So I think I'm just going to mark it with a little bit of blue tape um, and then take the dashboard back away and then work my way through one by one. Obviously trying to work the, in groups so that um, I'm not having random wires from each gauge going into one connector. So try and keep it nice and clear and, and clean. So yeah, I think that's what the plan is now. Uh, this is, uh, okay, this is like halfway actually. This is a third of the way through. So you see this one connector here. Um, so it's one pair. The other one is there. So that's one section. So that's the speedo, the battery uh, warning lamp, the ammeter, and the fuel gauge. And there's the corresponding gauges wired in. I'll take all the tape off and tidy it all up once I'm done. Um, so yeah, I've got uh, two more sets of connectors to go with the other gauges you see there and the rev counter. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that. It uh, should be making it nice and easy and tidy. I mean, it looks horrendous now, but it will be nice and tidied up once it's all done.